Yakri here with another Warframe video. This time I'm here once again to answer one simple question. What makes Nova so great? Well, Nova is another Warframe who has a pretty good overall kit with no serious problems, who's been good since pretty much the dawn of Warframe time. Uh, Nullstar, while very inconsistent and wearing off quickly, it does give you significant damage reduction while it's active. Uh, Antimatter Drop deals massive amounts of damage, uh, generally in some, somewhere in the 200,000 range. Uh, Wormhole is the best mobility ability in the game, possibly with the Planes of Eidolon exception of Zephyr's ability to boost forward, but only in the sense that that uh, doesn't allow you to get fouled up by terrain. Wormhole is still actually faster. So pretty impressive right there. And finally, her ultimate, Molecular Prime. Now, Molecular Prime is, I think, the best ability out of all of these uh, in terms of design. And uh, it, it's what really makes her special. Because it's so well designed for the sort of um, meta that Warframe has maintained for many years now. And uh, that's this kind of situation where once in a while you may actually need some kind of crowd control to actually protect you from enemies, but this is a pretty niche use and you don't often want that. Uh, what you actually want is for enemies to come to you faster so you can slaughter them because they don't pose much of a threat to you and your goal really is to kill them as quickly as possible and often a big hindrance to that is the fact that they're off fucking just sitting in a corner somewhere not running at you screaming. So you don't want an ability that slows enemies down and keeps them from getting getting to you, which is exactly what this ability does. But it's not the only thing it does. If you run at negative power strength on Nova, Molecular Prime speeds enemies up instead of slowing them down, which is a genius design decision. And uh, just really takes a Nova from perhaps, she'd perhaps be a little bit niche or not that relevant, I think, without that to being a very commonly played frame, great in pretty much every imaginable situation except for Eidolon hunts. Um, all right, so let's let's get into it. I'm first using this um, oh my my uh, melee weapon won't unequip. Let's see if that'll do it. Okay, so I'm using this build first off, which is the Slova build, and it's high power strength, high duration because your ultimate's range scales with duration, not range. The range of the mini explosions your ultimate uh, sets off when you kill an enemy does scale with range, so I do have stretch on here. Now the reason for that, and you, you can tailor your build a bit to the level of enemies you're facing, is because if you're facing very low level enemies, actually improving your range a little bit will help you quite a bit. So these are going to be level 20 uh, arid butchers, and um, we're going to we're gonna just uh, mess around with them a bit, okay? So activate the ultimate, they all slow down. Where's the little group of them? Now. Oh. These guys haven't been hit by it yet. There we go. They've all slowed down. I actually don't have invulnerability on, so if they're a higher level, they could they could potentially kill me if I let them hit me. But as you can see, 75% slow. It slows down animations and all forms of enemy actions, including tracking. Um, so, you know, enemies with guns will still hit you a bit, but even those kind of enemies are, like, severely disabled uh, by this ability if you actively evade them. Now, what the, the really nice thing about this is if I, uh, if I just shoot these guys just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Boom. They all die. And uh, if you look carefully at those numbers, it does more damage than is listed uh, down here. It's uh, listed as 1900 explosion, explosion damage, and it's going to vary a little bit due to just Warframe weirdness. But, um, uh, gosh, I didn't really catch the number there. But yeah, it should be like 2000 something or a little bit higher because armor does uh, reduce it. But it's higher than listed because, of course, the enemies are affected by your ultimate, which also doubles the damage that they take, making it incredibly effective. Um, actually, I'm still going to do 20 of these guys because they they uh, they run at you, which is a really good way to illustrate this ability. So let's say I turn these guys up to level 130, right? Okay, here we go, level 130 enemies. It's really, it's really not going to be much different. If they had guns, they'd be a little bit of a threat to me, but um, they're really not that great with just melee weapons, which is why uh, Loki and Nova are kind of a classic combo. Give everyone melee weapons, they're slowed to fuck, so they can't actually get to you to attack you. All right, you're completely safe at this point, and uh, the enemies are also walking towards you, albeit slowly. So, you know, I can just really easily just take these guys out with like one or two shots from the Twin Gracatas. No big deal. The uh, explosion damage, though, is no longer particularly significant. Although, if they're on low HP, they'll die from it anyway. 
Uh, if you combine this with other types of damage boosts, it can still be very effective. For example, throw in Rhino Roar. Maybe you've got, um, I guess Serenus Spores would be a little bit overkill, but you got, got some Rhino Roar, maybe some way to viral proc enemies in mass, uh, and it's very, very good. Now, let's, um, yeah, let's not look at that, actually. Let's take a look at uh, her other build, right? Speed Nova. So Speed Nova goes negative power. Wait, wait, wait. Did I leave off an ability? Oh, shoot. I certainly did. Um, well, let's, we don't need, do we really need, uh, really need constitution? No, we don't. It's, it's nice for that additional range. I actually need to form up my Nova some more. It's been a while since I've played her extensively. And in fact, the last time I played her significantly, I didn't really know, uh, how the game worked as well. I had to update these builds quite a bit. It was very, very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. So I spawn all these guys. And, uh, let's see how they do against me now, right? So they're running at me. They're running at me. Speed it up. Okay, now they are they are significantly faster. Their t attacks animate fat. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Their attacks animate faster as well, making them much, much more deadly. I don't know if enemy fire rate goes up. It might, um, but in general, enemies become much more dangerous uh, this way. The nice thing, though, is though they still take double damage. That's not because that's not affected by power strength. So you're still just as effective at helping people kill enemies. Now, if we look at our abilities right here, so we can see that they are sped up by 30%. And uh, that's just generally pretty great, right? Um, in, in very low level missions, this uh, reduced explosion damage of like 320 will actually be enough to kill enemies, especially if you combine it with something like Rhino Roar, right? Which um, it does amplify the damage of Warframe abilities. I, I don't know if it, this is actually included for certain, but I believe it does. Um, I, believe it, I believe it is included. So you use something like that. And uh, what happens is that the chain reaction of explosions is going to be larger because we've put overextended on here anyway, right? The, the radius is much larger. And if that 320 damage is enough to kill enemies in their weakened state, you can spread a really large chain reaction and clear the map with this ability, actually. So, yeah, that's, that's why I think uh, Nova is a really great Warframe to get and to play because she's so fucking flexible. Just her ultimate alone is hugely flexible and she can be used for speedrunning missions with Wormhole. Uh, Antimatter Drop is, is I don't, not, not used too much, let's be honest here, but it does a solid amount of damage and it can be a way, if you're not bringing any useful weapons with you, to detonate groups of enemies uh that have been hit by your ultimate so that the chain reaction will start especially at lower levels it can do like 200,000 damage in an aoe so it's really it's not bad at all obviously um the main uh thing that holds it back is it's got this like slow travel speed and uh her one is usually you'll just end up dying anyway right with your with her one but uh, theoretically you know it can it can block some nasty shots 90 percent damage reduction for the first shot is very good you know while you have it it's very good um yeah so, <laughs> yeah, she's, 